Hi students, so in the previous videos I explained about uh, Kruskal's algorithm and the Prim's algorithm separately. Now let us see what is the difference between this Prim's and uh, Kruskal's algorithm. Uh, with an example, I'll tell the difference how the Kruskal's is implementing and how the Prim's algorithm is implementing to find out the minimum spanning tree. So let us take a given network is Let's take this as a network. So the weights for is 4, 4, 2, 2, 4, 3, 4, 3. And for the prims also, I am taking the same networks and we will observe finally what is the structure of this. Is this uh, prims and crucials you are getting the same structure? Or whether you are getting the same weight, same minimum spanning tree weight or not. Okay. So, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 2, 3. So, I had taken the same network. Now, let us observe here. So, in the second step. Uh, so, first we have to choose in the crucial. We have to choose the shortest edge. So one thing you have to remember, this is edges. We'll calculate the weight based on the edges. Everything is on edges, but uh, we'll select the edges. And here we'll select the vertices, edges and vertices with minimum cost. So here you have to choose the shortest edge. So if you are having any one, uh, if you're having the same value, suppose the shortest is 2 is having 2. Uh, two edges is having the same value so you can select any one so i select one two so this i have selected so here you have to choose a vertex here we have choosing the edge and here i am choosing only the edge vertex so in the prims algorithm you have to choose first vertex and here you have to choose edge and coming to the next step so third one choose the shortest edge and add it mean next to shortest you just write next to. choose the next to shortest edge and add it so what is the next to shortest edge for this this is the next shortest so just add that one. just add this Two, two. Okay, so here also first I had chosen a vertex for prims. Now here I have to choose a shortest edge from this vertex, which is adjacent to this vertex from this vertex. So mainly concentrate on vertex. So here this vertex, what is the adjacent uh, to the vertex shortest edge, either this or this. So just select one. So, I am selecting this one, two vertices. So, this is the second step. Now, coming to the third, fourth. In the fourth, choose the next shortest, next to shortest edge, which would not create a cycle, would not create a cycle so for any crucial so the prims algorithm you have to sure that uh, make sure that you are not uh, a circle is not forming a cycle or a circuit is not forming so here i had selected selected two purses next is the three is the shortest okay either this or this i have to be selected so here i have selected this okay three and coming to here in the fourth one choose in the prims algorithm choose the nearest nearest vertex not yet in solution means you have to select the unvisited vertices it means unvisited vertices not the visited vertex so you have to select the unvisited vertex so what is unvisited vertex next so this is the unvisited vertex so just select two two so now coming to the next difference fifth one
so fifth you have to choose the next shortest edge in crucials which would not same which would not create a cycle which would not create a cycle so what is that 2 2 next is the shortest is 3 and next edge is a 3 for the prims we have to choose the next nearest vertex next to nearest to vertex uh, that not in solution when there is a cho choice cho choose either if there if you are having the choice you can choose any one of the edge so for this you will get the trias like this so this is two two and three so here we have to repeat this process until you have minimum spanning tree means you have to visit all the vertices so the solution for this is four two two three three and for the springs we have to repeat until you have a minimum spanning tree so you will get the tree as like this four three two two three so when compared to these two you will get the weight of this both the minimum spanning tree is the same but the structure is different so this this is a crucial algorithm structure of finding the minimum spanning tree whereas by using the prims algorithm this is the minimum spanning tree for a given graph so that is a different the structure is different in these two cases so whereas in crucial sol uh, algorithm allows both new to new and old to old to get connected so the new to new and old to old has to be connected whereas in prims prims algorithm always joins a new vertex to an old vertex so this is a new vertex uh, so old vertex and old vertex will be joined to the new vertex means that is unvisited vertex okay so that every st uh, stage you will it looks like a tree but here uh, in the previous it's a uh, crucial algorithm is doesn't represent like a tree this is disconnected so uh, if it is not completed uh, means some uh, in the some cases it should look like a disconnected but finally everything will be connected in the crucials whereas in the prince algorithm whatever the stage you have taken everything is in the connected everything is in the conne connected state in the prince algorithm so when compared to the prince the crucial algorithm is uh, having some uh, it's having a large large complexity whereas in prince you have the less complexity when compared to crucials so this is about the difference between the prince and the crucials algorithm thank you